Ladies and gentlemen, it gives me great pleasure to bring Sarah's fiance. Yes, Ian Salmon.
in Compton, right? <laughs> right? And I told her, well, I, I, it was a little, you know, black, fluffy little black dog, right? And I always wanted a fluffy little white dog. Right. So I, I, I'm not being racist, sir. Okay, so I wanted a fluffy little white dog, right? But this particular dog in Compton Kennel was like, you know, it was it was it was fluffy, but it was black. I don't want to like that. All, always been my my thing when I was a kid. You understand what I'm saying? So he thought it was racist. I was like, I'll be honest with you, I'm not gonna adopt no dog from Compton. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm just not, because I don't know what kind of gang affiliations that dog got. You know what I'm saying? You know, I fucking live in Studio City. I be walking that dog down the street, and next thing you know, somebody drive by and he throw a car up. <laughs> get me all shut the fuck up. You know what I'm saying? So I was just trying to be safe. I wasn't being, race, I wasn't being animal racist. So I got this little dog, and the dog's cute, man. Dog, I, look at me. Do I look like a guy that be walking down the street with a Southwest Terrier <laughs> at seven in the morning? We both dressed alike, <laughs> but we do. <laughs> but that's my dog. I love that dog. I love. Uh, I, I, I love. I mean, so I'm not a. I'm not. I'm not a half animal hater. Then, right? See, because I love the dog. Right? I just have preferences. Right? That's right. She had a. She had a parrot. I'm not even gonna get into that because she get mad when I say it. But all in between us, the parrot was racist. That's all I'm gonna say. <laughs> another thing in that, another thing in the interracial relationship that I don't know if it's like every interracial relationship or maybe it's just ours. But I didn't know this. But apparently, white women like to role play. Did y'all know that? No, no. It was just okay. I guess it's my relationship here. <laughs> yeah, she she likes to role play. She. Like she, she likes to be somebody else. Well, no, she likes to be herself, but she likes me to, for me to be somebody else, which was kind of suspect. Because for the last fifteen years, I've been somebody else, ladies and gentlemen. For that, yeah. For the last fifteen years, I have been Kuta Kente in my fucking bedroom. Because she 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 was in love with fucking Kuta Kente from Roots. Some of y'all too y'all y'all know y'all know Roots. Yeah. yeah. So she I guess she had watched it at some point. Yeah, you you know right. She's watched it at some point in time in her life and fell in love with Kuta Kente. So I had to be Kuta Kente because it really it really fucking turned her on for some reason. You know, like I mean we got like yeah you know what I'm saying. The shit got out of hand. The shit got out of hand. I had to come through my window in a fucking lawn car. <laughs> Neighbors looking at my ass and shit. You know, they either posting the shit on next door, like there's the, a the black guy uh, going through our neighbor's window. Yeah, 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 he had a lawn cloth on, his ass was all out. I said, let me see that. Oh, yeah, that's me. <laughs> Yeah, you know, so that's the type of shit you do when you're in a relationship, when you love your partner, you, you get caught up in the shit like that. But I, I'm not gonna lie, I had, I had to have therapy over it. You know, I had, I had, I had, I had to have therapy, man. I, uh, I went to my therapist. He was a black man, and uh, he was like, uh, you know, I told him, I said, you know, uh, I don't know if I can continue doing this, uh, Phil. Uh, <laughs> His name was Phil too. <laughs> His name was Phil too. That's just a coincidence. Uh, I said, I don't know if I can keep doing this, Phil. And he was like, um, doing what? I said, well, you know, uh, my fiance, man, for the last 15 years, uh, we've been role playing. And I've been Kuta Kente. And he a black man. And he was, he, he was, he just, he ain't say shit. He just fucking stared at me. He's like, what y'all, what y'all, what y'all doing? I said, we role playing. And he said, who are you? Uh, Kuta Kente. And he was like, uh, nigga, hold on. And he left, he left the fucking room. <laughs> he, he left the fucking room. I can hear him in the next room, like, ruffling shit, you know, pots and pans and shit, knocking and shit. And this motherfucker came back in the room. He had three days ration and a map for me. He said, you need to leave first thing in the morning 
Follow this map north. <laughs> Don't stop. Don't stop till you get to this house. And when you get to this house, ask for a black woman named Rachel Dolezal. <laughs> See, some of y'all don't know who Rachel Dolan's are. That's a brilliant fucking joke. All right, I got the light. You guys have been a great audience. But let me let me just uh, say this before I leave. Um, it's funny. It's funny how comedy works because sometimes jokes come back around, you know? Like, everybody's talking about this Jeffrey Dahmer shit. You know, because there's, there's a Netflix series about it. It's like, okay, well, I already lived through that bullshit. Right, right. You, you know what I mean? Yeah, y'all didn't know. Yeah, well, I lived. We older folks, we lived through the man eater. You know. <laughs> but it, what was shocking to me was when I found out he got killed in jail. They murdered his ass in jail. You know, and I was like, damn, how did they? How did they allow him to get murdered with all the security and shit? And how did that happen? But then I thought about it. I was like. If I was in the same cell with Jeffrey Dahmer, and I woke up in the middle of the night and I had butter all over me and lettuce in my ass, I'm gonna fucking kill somebody. And you imagine in that fucking cell, what was that like? He woke up, like, hey, hey, goddamn, get back, Jeffrey. What the fuck you doing? Ah, what, what's all this? Ah. Hey, every time he throw a jab at Jeffrey, Jeffrey just bite a little piece of his hand off and shit. Right? <laughs> Next thing you know, he in court trying to identify what the fuck happened. <laughs> Alright, good night. It, it was it was funny in ninety four. Fuck you.